Hello, hello everyone. Welcome back. So today I have a little mixture video. I guess that's the best way to put it, or mix. Um, I have happy mail and then a flip through. So I received this happy mail. It's the latest one from Fabiana Anastasio. Oh, I always struggle with that name. It's her new one. It's called Dream Garden from her mythographic series. Uh, I own, I think, like two others um, that are from her as well. I had not pre-ordered this one. I kind of wanted to wait, see some flip-throughs, just because the the doodly ones or the ones with all the hidden stuff sometimes overwhelm me, you know. And then I'm like, oh, am I ever gonna color in this? But uh, funny enough, it was actually sent to me as happy mail from my buddy Ryan over at TS2 Channels. So color and recover and then glitter grunge greetings. So you can check out on both. Um, one's more coloring based, obviously, and the other does all his like cards and scrap making and not scrap making, <laughs> scrapbooking type stuff. Wow. Um, but anyway, he does cool stuff with like all the Ranger ink products. I mean, the man knows what he's doing. So, um, we have been exchanging happy mail to one another <laughs> and he was so sweet to send me this. And I, I honestly was thrilled because I hadn't pre-ordered it and I had already seen some flip throughs and I was like, gosh darn it, I should have bought that. And Ryan read my mind somehow. It's all right, we're kindred spirits. We have the three C's in common, cakes, coloring, and crafts. So I wanted to do a flip through while I was at it. All right, so I always leave my little happy mail notes just so I'm reminded of who sent what. And then, so here's the title page. Oop. And what I love here is, so they are single-sided, which is great, because then if I put something behind here, I can use markers, woohoo, um, you know, my ink tents, anything like that, and I don't have to worry about anything bleeding through. But also, you know how I love perforated edges, because I don't like sitting here, like, messing with a spine. And this is actually good paper. It's thick. It's not as smooth as like something on a Johanna Basford book, but it's it's got a teensy bit of tooth, but totally fine. Not to the point where I'd be like, oh, I gotta scan this. So I could tear these out, color on it, and then I just slide it back in when I'm done. So let's take a look. It's called Dream Garden, so just keep that in mind. That one's actually really pretty, to be honest. <laughs> Ooh, actually, no, this one's even prettier with a water fountain and look like these little houses built in. See, I like these ones where tons of fun stuff is integrated. It just gets hard when they go, like, overboard with the hidden objects, um, like a microphone or a cassette. Those just throw me off. <laughs> I've, uh, I've taken some advice um, from Erica over at Elm Colors. She did a video on what she does and basically she just kind of keeps them with the same color palette or you can color them with like a silver gel pen to make them pop or my all-time favorite piece of advice she gave just white them out why didn't I think of that <laughs> so simple got enough gel pens yeah so I usually just white them out if they're like too cumbersome but anyway there was there's this page here which is very pretty I love all of this I don't know why they got like a saxophone up in there. It'd be cool if the hidden objects like played off the theme, I guess, but this one is very pretty too. All this floral work is just gorgeous. I love this one with the lanterns and the centipede. I think that's the right way to put it. Yeah, see like the scissors down here? I'd probably just wipe those out and pretend it never happened. Out of sight, out of mind. This one will be fun because see, all these flowers are like crystals, so it's pretty cool. This one's pretty cool too, actually. I have noticed when I do flip throughs, my vocabulary shrinks to cool, adorable, beautiful, pretty. <laughs> I need to get like a thesaurus of words, like a cheat sheet. I, I am good with words, just not on camera. The words just stop flowing through my brain. 
This one I actually saw when I was watching flip throughs and I thought that would be so fun to color. Fish above water with all those flowers. This one too, this one definitely caught my eye on the flip throughs. It's not as you know crazy with the hidden objects. There's some in there of course, like a little dog tag, but I would actually I would actually keep that in. Um the the train I might white out. Like I said, if it works, I'm gonna keep it. But if it's just like, I don't know what to do with you, I'm gonna white it out. So thank you, Erica. That was the best advice ever. This one I really think is super adorable. Again, I'm like limited to my five word vocabulary for some reason. This book up here, I would totally leave in because I just, I could totally make that work. But there's some things here and there, like this, uh, oh my gosh, what's the word? Slingshot, that one I'd be kinda eh. This is so pretty. I love this. Pretty, that's another word I use. The zebra. I like how the stripes all like look as if they were their ribbon. And look at this gorgeous one. This is really gonna be fun. The whistle, I'm not gonna lie, I'm probably gonna wipe that out. <laughs> and the donut and whatever that is. You know, there's a whole mess of things in that one. I wish she would just do these pages without the little doodle things because honestly her artwork is beautiful. I didn't even realize because there's a tag right now. It's called a fab year 2021, I think. I didn't even realize I owned her books, but I have like um, a bunch of fairy tale ones from her and they're gorgeous. And then I had had one of these and I bought another of her mythographics. I was like, you know, her artwork is still Stunning. I would love to see her do this without all the doodles like just straight up do more of those books because look at this I mean she is a talented gal This is I like this one. I would actually leave the clock in there. That could be fun This I'm trying to figure out what the heck this is If anyone knows let me know in the comments below because it's kind of throwing me off I love the way she draws sunflowers a few of her books have them I love how this boat is just like jetting out of there. There's like a, a, what do you call it? Nintendo DS in the corner. So that's probably one I'll white out. <laughs> this one caught my eye as well. Got a little iPhone up in there. I don't do iPhone, so I definitely gotta white that out. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I said it. But no, it's very pretty. This one too. Again, pretty. I do like how she like integrates a lot of planets in her pictures too. See, she does that quite a bit. This is cool though. The lion's walking and the waters are parting around him. It's pretty cool. Like this little, oh my gosh, razor scooter. I would so wipe that out because <laughs> why? This one, I can't wait. This would be fun. Other than, I think, is that a band-aid like in the water? <laughs> like I said, sometimes you're just like, why was that? Like, it, it almost makes you excited because you're like, man, this artist has some crazy thinking going on to put, like, these random objects. But at the same time, you're like, why? So this has a sharpener. I would totally leave the sharpener. Uh, same thing with that nail. Both of those work with this. The glue stick thing here, I would actually um, probably white out. Same with the salt and pepper shaker. Uh, but yeah, just kind of depends as I'm coloring along. Why did I not think of whiting these things out? I mean, that's what Posca was made for. This one is very pretty too. A little lamp just hanging out there. But yeah, I, sometimes I color them with just a gel pen and let them pop off the page. If you do it like in a silver or gold gel pen, like a metallic one, it actually looks pretty good. This is cool. The calendar I would actually leave in there. I don't know about the little cannon. That's kind of pushing it, but I think that calendar looks pretty fun. And we have this. I'm loving this. It's like all tiki style. What does that say? San hand sanitizer. <laughs> I'm leaving that in just for COVID fun. <laughs> Otherwise, if we didn't have COVID, I'd be like, ah, uh, no, but no, got to leave that. This is cool with the pine trees and stuff. It's like a nifty little fish tank or something. 
the keyhole one. I saw this on some channels when they were doing the flip through. Instantly in love because there's so much you can do with the keys, like practice coloring all your metals. I mean, this one is going to be a ton of fun. The coffee cup must stay because I love coffee and coffee should never be erased from anything in the world ever. Ever. This one too I love because she's sitting here and everything is just swirling around here. I think like there's a thing of yarn here. Flag, a Russian nesting doll, a random present. I mean, this one is definitely... But I should probably not show you guys all the hidden objects in case you guys want to hunt for them, so I'll just stop pointing them out. Um, this one's pretty nifty, too. Again, see, she does a thing with the planets. I, it's unique. It's like a style thing of hers. But I always love the Perforated Edges book. Ooh, I like this one. It's like they're hopping out of the ocean and into the galaxy. Yeah, so a lot of these I can totally color. I might even squeeze this into my June pages, my June stack of pages. I like that one too. See more planets. The jellyfish are just floating about. It's like a mystical little world up in here. I love this one. The coolest freaking tree house ever. This one is okay. I mean, it's cool, like, the book is up here and it's dripping down into the fountain. Loved this one. This could be really fun. Like I said, it's not bad paper. Uh, it's a little toothier for my style, but with certain pencils, I can make it work. But hey, here's the thing. If I don't like it, I can scan it and put it on the paper I like. So it works. Trust me, there are some books out there with way worse paper. Like, this is still actual cardstock. It's not copy paper. I like this with all the lanterns and the flowers and the frogs. I need to practice coloring frogs. I'm not going to lie. That one's pretty cool, too. Oh, and then we got the answers. Sorry, can't see those. And then the back. Perfect. So yes, a uh, special thank you to Ryan. I'm going to leave his um, links to both channels in the description below. You know, I'm really bad about remembering to do that. It's because when I go to edit, I'm like in edit mode, and then I'm like, get the video up, and then I forget. And I'm like, oh shoot, what is wrong with me today? So yes, um, I will definitely be putting this bad boy up, and I will try to remember to link to Ryan. So thank you, Ryan, for sending this to me. I hadn't pre-ordered it, so good guess on your part. Very sweet of you. And then thank you guys for hanging out while I flipped through this uh, beautiful book. Let me know in the comments below if you have it. Um, if you want to see any color alongs or anything with it, like totally let me know a page and I will try to integrate that. Uh, not this month, <laughs> but next month for sure. So until next time, guys. Take care.